Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to MotoGP 17 where today starts round 2 of the 2018 MotoGP World Championship. First up, Moto3 at the Termas de Rio Hondo circuit in Argentina. Now, the track is actually going to be pretty wet from what I've sort of set it to be. It looks like it's actually going to be a wet race on Sunday, so I've sort of tried to follow along with the real world sort of weather conditions and this track being wet means it's going to be rather difficult. Hello and welcome to the Termas de Rio Hondo circuit in Argentina The live coverage of the Moto3 race. There are some impressive crowds here today, despite the rain you can see coming down. A reminder that this is always such a popular event. So coming off of round one, we actually managed to snag a podium in Qatar. And this track is, well, it's easier, but it's still very difficult in the, well, any track sort of difficult in the rain, but this one in particular. Now, for those of you that are tuning in for the first time, or it's your first time on my channel, I do like to try and keep my sim racing and sports gaming uh, games and whatnot as realistic as possible and as up-to-date as possible. So this is last year's MotoGP 17 game, although we've got a full 2018 mod downloaded onto the game. So we've got all the, all the new riders, all the new liveries, all the new logos, and yeah, it is looking really cool. I must admit, big thank you to the guy that made this. I'll post the link to the mod in the description. So, without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this race. Uh, just making sure I've got my setup loaded on. No, I don't. Just haven't really changed too much this weekend. Just try and kept it, or try to keep it simple the best I can. So wet yet. All right. So besides that, here we go. Time to start round two in the Moto3. Uh, now we did qualify in what was eighth position, I believe. Uh, I can't quite remember. I've already I've done two other qualifying sessions since then in Moto2 and MotoGP. So <laughs> struggling to keep up with all the motorsport that's going on this weekend. Lopez on pole, Canet on second, but yeah, eighth. So we're only half a second off the pole, so it wasn't too bad in the end. But here, I mean, well, in Moto3 in general, as long as you're within a second of the pole, I mean, you can just draft right up to them, no matter what. But yeah, it's, it is, it is going to be interesting, because it is wet, so the draft doesn't have quite as large an effect, but we've just got to get through these first couple laps. All the riders on the grid at Termas de Rio Ando. Concentration at a height this running of the Argentinian Grand Prix will start any moment now. Alrighty, here we go. Come on, let's get this thing off to a good start. Ah, reaction timing was awful. Try to scoot up the inside. Shot a bit. Oops. All right, now onto this massive straight. It just goes on forever in these Moto3 bikes. Come on, draft. Oh wow, that's a. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've sort of drafted a pack in the entire uh, weekend, so <laughs> I was carrying a lot more speed into there than what I anticipated. Come on, Jason, focus. Oh, a little bit down. Beep, beep. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I take a very different line through some of these corners than what the AI does, as you'll soon find out. Oh my god, wow. Leopard bike is just in my way. Move! Oh, big dive bomb, no worries. Oh, 
Alright, and the comeback is on. Drop two positions on lap one, but we'll get them back. Well, I hope. in advance. Uh, nang -nang 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 -nang. Ah, shit. That was not, not healthy. I do not recommend doing that again. I felt like our race pace hasn't been too bad. I've just left. I've left. Oh gosh, I've just been struggling overall, sort of like a one lap uh, pace, so I've been struggling in four lane. Come on, Joseph, pick your apex, it's crying out loud. Ugh. Me, come and do. See, in real life, if I was to run these curbs like I am, I would uh, be probably three laps down by now on my ass. It's a very interesting line. So I thought that Bastanini behind us. I want to recognise the number. So this race is 11 laps, which is 50% uh, race distance in real life. We have got these AI riders set to the highest difficulty possible. That was a very late move. Draft! Damn, look at this draft, this is a good one. Don't outbreak myself, please. Good battle for second up ahead. Hopefully we can chime in. in too late for that corner. So that is Livio Loy in front of us. I do apologise that his liver is not showing up. I'm not quite sure why. Oh, how? Get away with pretty much running almost any line in the wet. <laughs> oh, not that line. Alright, come on, head down here. Just under halfway, about a third of the way there. Oh, 
a shot, couldn't quite get on the right line. This, that corner, there's like bumps on the entry. I, I was watching a free practice the other day, and I heard the commentator something. Well, I swear I heard the commentators say something about resurfacing, so I don't know if they've actually resurfaced on this track, but that corner there, as I remember from like previous uh, MotoGP games, is seriously bumpy and it just understeers like a peak the whole way into there. Break super early. I've uh, got a good run there. Taking him. Hopefully, he doesn't draft us back. Go away. How did he pull that up? That's alright. I think we're slowly catching the group ahead. I just don't want to let the leader get too far away. Oh, I had to sit up a bit. Struggling to get out of there. Have been all weekend. And actually, in all three of the categories as well. That corner is just so hard to get right. The bumps. You have to turn in so much earlier than you feel like you should. Uh, I'm starting to lose grip. I'm using up too much tyre. Ah, shit. Thought I was going to go around the outside of it. Bro, we are stuck behind this guy. Ah, oh, went fucking Jesus. Oh, it's Ertel, that's right. Still struggling to keep up with all the liveries and names and everyone. Everyone keeps changing around. Go away. Alright, let's see if we can break him now. is how the hell are we supposed to get through this pack without destroying ourselves? This guy's been going at it for like the last seven laps. Uh, 
initiated that wreck, but yeah. I don't know, I just saw a bike sliding across the track and that's all, all, all that I remember in that short time frame. Oh, wow, Joseph! They break so freaking early, I swear to God! Oh, I can't believe I just did that, for fuck's sake. Now we're back to where we started. <laughs> After all of that. I think it was our teammate as well, I can't remember. Oh my god. Damn it. That's right, it's not over. Got plenty of time left. Just gonna have to try and nail these last few laps. Oh, that's not nailing it. sector. Got Bulaga in front of us and Mino behind us. Then our teammate right there. Right there. There's no point in that. Oh my god, why am I stuck to the rear of his bike? <laughs> I'm going to have a serious inquiry, <laughs> inquiry with the stewards after this race. Gonna get pulled up on everything. I think I've wrecked like two, like two people and my teammate. I'll probably be fired as well. Anyway, he parked his bike in front of me, so yeah, we're on a mission. Right, up into six. Seems like we can't go past anyone without getting into trouble. <laughs> Every time I do that, I shit myself. It's like, ah, oh, you're gonna die. Oh, wait, no, you're fine. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong white line. I'm gonna use those white lines as a breaking marker going into there. Well, that. And when we came together with. Uh, I can't remember who it was earlier, but. That was the first crash I've had all weekend, so it's not bad. <laughs> not a bad start. Alright, we've got two laps to go. No, three laps to go, sorry. Still do this. Come on, go. Got Foggy in front of us, or Foggy, I think it's 
much yet. I think his name wrong earlier. Martin uh, in front of us. <laughs> so it's Jorge Martin and Lopez in this battle in front of us. Can't quite see who the other guy is. Podium. Run out of there, come on, big dive bomb, here we go for the win, I mean for the podium I should say. Oh, we're going to get third, oh we're going to get third, oh I think we just got third. We're side by side across the line. I can't quite see who the 88 is. Uh, it was Martin, yeah. Wow. We managed to snag third again. It's almost like a repeat, um, like a deja vu repeat of what happened in Qatar when we snagged third on the last lap and we've done the exact same thing here. We uh, definitely had the fastest lap by three tenths of a second. It's probably helped out when we had the draft, but wow. Oh my gosh, I don't really know what to say. That was crazy. We'll go we'll go and have a look at the last lap. Alright, so here is the last lap of the race. So right now running fierce, trying to chase down that big group in front of us. We managed to nail turn one quite well. Which gave us a good sort of I mean I knew I just needed to be at least somewhere close to the draft down that big long back straight or else we just weren't been, weren't gonna be able to challenge him but Managed to nail turn two as well, this one. I mean, it's so hard riding these bikes with a controller. I mean, I, I don't know how people uh, drive like on racing games with a controller, like four-wheel racing games, 
let alone two wheels, so... I mean, I could never drive a, a car on a racing game with a controller, it just would feel crazy, so... Sort of learning it race by race. I have played quite a few sort of MotoGP games in the past, but never this serious. Like doing it week in, week out sort of thing, but... Yeah, no, we just really nailed the first and second sector of this lap. We managed to get underneath our teammate here. Sort of snuck up the inside. <laughs> Although he did get a run on me on the exit. Woohoo, sideways! Damn. Yeah, hauling ass through here, I'll tell you that much. But no, the run out of here is vital. We managed to get somewhere close and then threw the big dive bomb. Unfortunately, I understeered slightly wide, maybe due to the older tyre. I mean, we just managed to get it. <laughs> it was side by side. Oh, basically forced him over the line. Oh, some small glitch there, but yeah, no, what a race. Holy crap. So here are the final results. Aaron Cannett gets the win. Lopez in second, so it's an Australia Galicia 1-2. We managed to snag third, our teammate. Um, I, I apologise if I'm saying his name wrong. Foggier or Fog Foggier is fifth. <laughs> and yeah, wow, what a, what a round two. What a way to kick off the day. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned as we're just about to go and run Moto 2 in what will hopefully be slightly better conditions. But yeah, no, this was a really fun race and a great way to kick off the Sunday's racing here in Argentina.